Hey, you wonderful subscribers. Thanks to the amount of views I received for my Xbox One X hard drive repair guide, I decided to do one for the Xbox One S. I have already disassembled this Xbox. I've removed all the screws. I will leave a link in the description as how to disassemble an Xbox One S. This Xbox One S will not apply updates, so let's remove this hard drive. Carefully unplug the hard drive data and power connectors. Let's remove the screws so we can take the hard drive off the bracket. Here I have my replacement 1TB Seagate hard drive. I received a lot of comments in the Xbox One X uh, video, uh, people asking me why don't you just go SSD? Well the thing is it comes down to the customer, um, it's his pocket, so it's his decision at the end of the day. Unfortunately PC components are also beyond ridiculously expensive in South Africa not only PC components but any electronic component. Let's disconnect the proprietary connector from the old hard drive and swap it over to the new hard drive. Time to reassemble everything. I've marked the new hard drive so not to get it mixed up with the old one. Make sure to connect the hard drive, data and power cable to the motherboard. Now it's time to get the software ready. I'll be using this Kingston 32 gig USB stick. Head over to my Xbox One X faulty hard drive replacement video. The link is there. Otherwise, I will leave a link below. Format your memory stick NTFS and place the downloaded system update file in the root of the USB memory card. Let's power on the Xbox One S with the new hard drive and see what happens. Something went wrong. Right, let's power off this Xbox and power back on in safe mode. To get the Xbox into safe mode, hold the power button and the controller sync button together for about 5 to 10 seconds. It will make a chime again. When this happens, you'll be in safe mode. Now let's plug in that USB stick that we created a bit earlier. Offline system update has just become available. And there we go, preparing the console. Just a heads up, this update does take quite some time and your screen will flicker once or twice. But don't panic, it's all part of the update. I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to sit and watch the whole thing.
there we go. Now let's just set up our Xbox. Let's head over to settings and to storage. There we go, 0.1% used. 700 odd gigabytes available. Time to install a game. I'm gonna be using Gears 4, as this game has to install, and it is quite large as well. Let's fast forward this 13 minute installation. And there we have it, a happy Xbox One S with a new happy 1TB Seagate hard drive, with a 2 year warranty I might add. Any questions? Leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.